For number six, we have the figure below shows two very long straight wires in cross section and each carry a current of 3.95 amps. So both of these wires right here and this way have the same current I, which is 3.95 amps. It is going directly out of the page. The distance is D1 equaling to five meters and D2 equaling 4.5. We are asked what is the magnitude of the net magnetic field at point P, which lies on a perpendicular bisector to the lines. A bisector is found in the middle of two lines, it bisects both of them. To find this, what we can do is instead of having this up here, we can move it like this. And if we extend it, we're going to see that this basically forms a line connecting this end of our line one to this end. We can see this is at an angle, and since it is at an angle, we need to find said angle right here to solve for this. We need to find the magnetic, the net magnetic field, and then multiply it by this angle to get the correct answer. We're going to move our D2 value to save room over here. So to find our angle, we are just going to use the formula tangent of theta is equal to sine over cosine. We can rewrite this since we need theta as theta is equal to arctangent and in parentheses sine cosine. For this particular graph, our cosine value will be d2 and our sine value is going to be from here to here. So that is basically d1 halved. So this is going to be d1 over 2. If we keep going here, we can plug in our values and say that our theta is equal to the tangent of negative 1, d1 over 2, which is 2.5 meters, divided by our d2, which is 4.5 meters. We need to make sure our calculator is in radians, and after we do this, we are going to get that our theta is equal to approximately 29 degrees. So we have found one of the first variables. Next, we can actually go about finding our magnitude. So to find our magnitude, we are going to use the formula for that, and that is B is equal to U naught times the current divided by two pi R. This is the formula to find the magnetic field of a wire. From here, we can start plugging in our values we can set our b equal to the constant 4 pi 10 to the negative 7 tesla meters over amp for u naught. For our current i, we have 3.95 amps given to us. From here, we are going to have our 2 pi and then our r. Now, our r is not going to be any of the d1s or d2s. It's not going to be either of those. What our r is going to be it's going to be the Pythagorean theorem of this right here. So if we go inside of here, we know that our D2 is 4.5 and our D1 is 5. However, we only are taking half of it. So this is going to be 5 divided by 2, meaning it is just 2.5. We need to find this value C. So the Pythagorean theorem allows us to set c equal to the square root of 2.5 squared plus 4.5 squared. This is going to give us the value that c is approximately 5.15 meters. After we have this, we can take it and plug it in for our r. Now that we have all of these values we can actually now go about writing and plugging everything in. So if we plug this in for our R, we are going to have 5.15 meters. After we do this, we are going to get that our B is equal to approximately 1.5 times 10 to the negative seven Teslas. Looking back at our graph, we notice that it says directly out of page. That means that this is going to look 
slightly different. This is going to affect the magnitude, what we plug in for our magnitude. Normally, our magnitude is going to take the x values and the y values. So our b net would be equal to our b times the cosine of theta for our first wire. And then our second wire is also going to be b cosine of theta. So we can just say that this will be 2b cosine of theta. And then the same thing for sine. There is a slight difference here, though if we draw this in 3D making this line our D1 and this line our D2, we have our P right here. We also have our line that we are drawing between these two, like this. And since our P is going directly out of the page, it is coming up like this. We can also see that our bisector well, our bisector is not really going to be here. This is just to, to easierly use the Pythagorean theorem. This is actually going to be located like this. Because really, it's supposed to be between these two lines, like this. But it's going to come out like this. And if we have our angle here as theta, that means the angle here is theta and this is our first wire and our second wire is over here if we move this in closer so we can compare them like this because originally this wire is supposed to be in this corner right here we're going to see that our overall angle is 90 degrees so to find this angle here we have to do 90 degrees minus our theta which is 29 degrees so the angle that we need is going to be 61 degrees approximately so this is going to be the new angle that we are using right here from this 3d sketch right here we can also notice a second thing and that is that our value is only going up in this direction there is no x movement therefore we can actually get rid of this x value because we will not be evaluating it. So we can set this to zero. Now after we have both of these, we are going to have our b net is equal to 2b sine of theta. If we keep going with this, we are going to have our b net is equal to 2 and our b, which is 1 0.5 times 10 to the negative 7 teslas times our sine of theta and our new theta is 61 degrees this is going to give us the approximate answer that b net is equal to 2.6 times 10 to the negative 7 teslas our final answer right here is going to be the magnitude of the net magnetic field at point P. So this is our answer right here.